Young LA is hitting us with brand new core colors. They know what they're doing. Now we all know by now that Young LA is known for their street style, but they also have straight up activewear. And this is what we're talking about today. If you guys saw my previous video when I reviewed this entire collection when it first dropped, you would know my thoughts. I was very pleasantly surprised by this collection. It really does have all the aspects of what I like personally in activewear. I said I like it like that. So it's Really excited to see them broadening their color range and then adding in a few little sprinkles on top with new pieces. I'm starting to notice the more we talk Young LA on this channel, the more it's getting requested. This video particularly, highly requested. I'm so excited to see you guys sharing in on the love when it comes to Young LA, because I don't know about you, but I really love their stuff. So there's definitely more to come. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And in case you don't know, I do have my code Ashley G that saves you 15% off of all of your Young LA orders. Always let me know if you do use it because it also goes towards helping out this channel and that I really do appreciate, so thank you so much. Real quick, on top of these new core pieces, we actually do have an emblem collection that's dropping. These are everyday leggings, zips, crew sweaters, tote bags. That's more lifestyle and fashion. I really wanted to focus today on the goods, baby. Not to say those aren't good, this is what I'm after. What's actually dropping? Let me tell you, we have leggings, we have shorts, we have two styles of bras. We have a halter neck and a strappy bra. And last but not least, they're launching a cross back bodysuit. That's what I'm talking about, okay? Add in that freaking bodysuit, why don't you? So we have six colors dropping in this collection. For the leggings, we are looking at the burgundy silk. This one actually has a pretty heavy marl design. It's like black marl, so it looks really deep, dark, almost a, a deep burgundy purple color. Base says it looks like cherry cola. It looks a little bubbly. Well, at least the booty looks bubbly. A velvet teal. Now this is a bluish green color. Really nice deep teal. This doesn't have quite as drastic of a marl design, but it is there slightly. Tan suede. I love me some brown colors when it comes to autumn. I actually really like this particular shade because it's not too, too dark. We've seen that many, many times. Like the one you're about to see, the real chocolatey brown colors. We've seen it time and time again. So this is a really nice like medium brown, right? Right in the middle. It's not too light. It's definitely not too dark. So beautiful neutral that can go with anything. This tan is super solid. So you are not going to see any marl in this design. Crushed mauve. Now mauve is a really dusty purple color. So if you're not looking for any deep dark purples, but you still love that whole pink purpley family. This is really pretty. I don't know where the crushed part comes in. How do you crush them off? Smash, smash, smash. Where they come up with the names, I don't know, but it sounds cool. I mean, I guess you could say they did crush this color, so maybe that's where it came from. This one is actually super solid, so you're really not gonna see any marl here. Tweed brown, all right? Every fall drop I've ever seen has this shade in it. If it doesn't, it's not really a fall drop, is it? This is some deep, dark soil, all right? You're gonna plant your ass in this and you're gonna grow, baby. Especially that booty when you're doing those hip thrusts. Remember, trust the thrust. I hope you guys are doing your hip thrusts, okay? This booty don't grow on its own, okay? You gotta eat and thrust. Anyways, I love that this is a warm brown. This is a very slight marl design, hardly noticeable, but up close you can see it. These staple, solid, very reliable, polished black. The reason being, no marl, very solid, shiny, sleek. It's polished all right. You know I'm all about my colors. Like I always gravitate to every other color other than black, but there's just some days out of the month, and I think you know where I'm going with this, where you're just like, F everything, just give me an all black fit. End of story. Really quick, I need to share with you what I personally think are the best colors out of this collection. This is 100% my opinion, obviously. I love the velvet teal. I think this is such a rich blue green color. It takes away from the traditional normal fall colors that you see. Then we have the normal traditional fall colors that you see. <laughs> I'm such a basic bitch. Tan suede and burgundy silk. I just love these, okay? Love my neutrals. My nudes are some of my favorites to wear in the gym. And then of course that classic burgundy, so beautiful. There is a big difference between this legging and the last previous legging. Can you take a wild guess what they changed? 
they changed the logo placement. Now they actually took it from the back of the band and placed it on the hip. I think this is much more suitable. I mean, we know tons of brands doing this style, so it's not about originality here. It's about doing something different so that you're not full on having it mimic another brand's legging. I mean, don't get it twisted. These aren't straight up identical to the Amplify anyway. Other than the logo, I noticed over time, because I've been wearing these a lot, they actually sit lower than the Amplify. Even the new Amplify that launched, these fit a little bit different around the glutes. Now, because the band sits lower, it almost makes your bum look perky and rounder. You don't have so much material underneath the band, which kind of elongates the glutes. This just makes it look a little plumper and rounder. That's at least what I noticed on me. So they are different in their fits slightly. Other than that, very similar material, lightweight, breathable, sheer. <laughs> Why don't we just get to the juicy stuff? One, two, three, four, five and six. So you can see what it's gonna look like if you wear black undies or if you have a tattoo. Don't get it twisted. Just like my amplifies, I do love wearing these with a nude seamless underwear and then it's like nothing ever happened. When it comes to sizing in these, okay, I will go ahead and say my true size small, fine. Fine. If in between though, keep something in mind, these bands are pretty compressive. Specifically in the darker colors, I noticed the most compressive band was actually the burgundy silk, believe it or not. That's where I was like, ooh, I had to actually kind of stretch it out a bit. What I do when the band is just too compressive is I, I do hip abductors with the band. I do, I'm not kidding. So if I'm sitting on the toilet and my leggings are down, I just do abductors and just stretch the band out a little bit. It works and it did work on this, okay? Go ahead and drop a comment with something weird you do to make your leggings fit better. So needless to say, if I'm in between, I'm sizing up. I think in any of these, specifically the burgundy, because it's the snuggest around my waist. But if I'm in between any of these, I'm sizing up because I don't like a compressive band. If you love a compressive band, more power to you. You can stick to your true size. I still wouldn't suggest sizing down. <laughs> I wouldn't. I think they'll appear a little more sheer if you do that. Now the glute scrunch is great. All right, obviously you have that semi-natural scrunch. I say semi because yeah, you can see it. You can see it clear as freaking day. But when wearing it, it's pretty discreet. But yeah, overall super stretchy. You know how this goes. I already reviewed this entire collection. Now let's go ahead and talk about the newer pieces. Now the bras, they're not all launching in exactly these six colors. The halter neck bra is the only one that has every single color that you've seen in the leggings. So you'll have a bra for every single legging. The scoop neck, not so much. We only have four colors launching in this one. The velvet teal, burgundy silk, polished black, and tan suede. That's it, that's all folks. This is the bra that you saw in the previous launch. This baby is the new one. Amen to the halter top, bring it on in. Mm -hmm. I like bras that have very minimal backside to them because I wanna see my gains, okay? I love working back. Fun fact, I actually never used to work back when I first started getting into lifting because it was out of sight, out of mind, so I never looked at my back and I thought, well then why train it? Needless to say, one day I just like saw myself in the mirror and I was like, what the f to myself, I said, girl, you're doing this all wrong. A strong back is sexy as hell. You do have muscles back there. They're there, just gotta work them. To be more specific, I used to ignore my entire posterior chain. So that was my back, I ignored my glutes, believe it or not. Glutes, believe it or not. And my hammies. I pretty much only trained what I could see from the front. Stupid. This is my message to you if you're starting out in the gym. Train everything, just do it. Do it! You don't wanna be uneven. So nothing has changed with the scoop neck. It is still low support. You still have the crisscross, adjustable straps in the back. You have a ribbed panel underneath the chest, but it is not an elastic band. Removable bra pads. They have the logo right there underneath the left titty. <laughs> chest, the left chest. The straps are relatively stretchy, so I do find this to be pretty comfortable for the most part. This area is not too snug. It has a nice ample amount of stretch. So this is something I can wear for a lengthy amount of time, and I think I'd be a-okay with that. True size small worked perfectly. I think if you're in between, if you have bigger breasts, you can get away with sizing up. If you have really small breasts, sizing down could be okay. Like I said, right here, super stretchy, and you have an adjustable back. So I don't think that's gonna be the issue 
issue, it's whether or not you can fill out the cups. Let's talk my personal favorite bra, the halter. I'm so glad to see this new addition. So straight out of the gate, I do think I'm gonna wear the halter over the scoop neck. I was a little weary when I saw this. I said, I really hope that there's still a decent amount of support. Sometimes halter tops can be a little wonky where it's more style than function. This I feel like has a nice healthy balance between the two. I'm able to do a lot in this. I actually do feel, believe it or not, that the halter bra holds my girls in firmer and better overall than the scoop neck did. Now, a big reason is this rib panel underneath, similar to what you just saw, it's a little bit wider of a paneling than the scoop bra, and it actually has a little less stretch, which in turn is adding a bit more support underneath the chest. I'm feeling it. It's to the point where if I'm in between, I'm 100% sizing up because I wouldn't want this to be any tighter. If it's too tight, it will pinch into the back. You know how that goes. So between the two, I'm actually feeling more support in the halter. I also think the girls look a bit more flattering in this bra because you have a really pretty V-neck, whereas the scoop neck, you know, a little more coverage, not as sexy. What look are you going for? Because I go for the sexy every time. <laughs> You still have removable bra pads. I would give this low to moderate support. Do you like a little more support, a little more grab around here? Then grab the halter top. If you prefer a little less snugness, you want a little more room to breathe, something that feels a bit more lightweight and airy, then grab the scoop neck bra. Coming in every single color as the leggings, we have the corresponding shorts. And because I totally forgot to grab the inseam for you, here we are. We got our big carpenter ruler over here. And we have a four inch inseam. Oh, think fast. Same thing as the leggings. You still have that handy dandy scrunch bum working its magic. Same deal with the waistband, the material, the whole nine. It's the same exact thing. What I looked for was rolling up when you're squatting. I personally did not experience any of that. These cinched a little too much for me, especially because it's a four inch inseam. So it's a little too short for me in the first place. I still enjoyed working out in them, but I did feel like that cinch just kind of made me feel a little. Mm. But I do believe that that little baby cinch is what's keeping it from rolling. So, you know, pick your poison, right? So if you're considering this and roll up's your biggest concern, I think you'll be A-OK. -okay. But also, if you're considering this, if you hate cinching of any kind, this is also good to know. Now, please remember that this is based off of my measurements and how it's fitting my body. I just have a feeling we're all very curious about these bodysuits. When I saw them come out with bodysuits in this collection, I was giddy. I was giddy. I do love bodysuits, especially when they have a scrunch bum. They kept the integrity of the core collection and kept the scrunch in these bodysuits, as they should. That would have been a crying shame, creating bodysuits and then like not putting that scrunch bum in. So here's the rundown of this bodysuit. For bodysuits, we only have four colors as well. We have the velvet teal, the polished black, the tweed brown, and the burgundy silk. The bodysuit's inseam is the same as the shorts. So you're looking at about four inches. The difference here is that the shorts fit differently. So this shorts area does not fit the same as the regular shorts. These actually feel like they don't cinch in at all. I felt less grab around the thighs, but like I said before, pick your poison, right? You remember me saying that, right? You know, pick your poison, right? What comes with a barely there grab around the thighs? Rolling. Just sitting down, I noticed that these rolled up on me. That's a little bit of a downfall to this bodysuit. If you're somebody who doesn't like that, like me, I don't want my anything to roll. That's the one thing I didn't like about the shorts area. Other than that, I felt like it was super flattering. The entire midsection has a little more compression, a little bit more grab. As you can see, there's an entire midsection ribbed paneling that just cinches you in this way. It's not hanging flat. Bodysuits, I feel like every bodysuit really needs this so that you can actually pop that waist a bit and just create a nice subtle hourglass shape. Nobody likes to look like they're wearing a paper bag, especially in the gym. Unless you're wearing a pump cover, then it's okay. Where it's at though is the cross back. 
100%. Not only is it a very beautiful cross back that does not pinch in, but look at the cut of this bodysuit. Look how it dips down. I actually did dips in this dipped bodysuit and it was legit. So I really like how sexy it is on the back. You have removable bra pads. Another little thing I noticed though, a lot of side boob. There's not quite enough support and grab around my girls to make me feel secure doing abs and things like that. Do I think I'm gonna pop out? Not necessarily, but there's enough side boob where I'm just like, look, I don't wanna risk it. So do keep that in mind. You can expect for it to not be as concealing. Like this bra, the scoop neck, the halter, they're great. I do not feel any side boob hanging out. The second I put this on, yeah. The straps are super comfortable on the back. They are not adjustable. Overall, such a great comfortable fit. We do have the long form logo right at the bottom here. And I actually really love the fact that they use their short form logo on the back. It works for this piece. I think this bodysuit would have been perfect if it didn't roll and it had a little more support around the girls here. I don't like the feeling of having side boobage. But yeah, a couple little tweaks and then I think this bodysuit would be banging. It's almost there. All right guys, so what are our thoughts on the new core collection? I'm so happy to see them expanding, trying out different styles, and especially this color palette. I think it's spot the frig on. Other than a couple tweaks that I would personally make to the bodysuit, I think that they did a great job. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate every single one of you. I love you guys so much. Catch you in my next video.